think sometimes these big dreams are really important, but they also can get in your way. I always knew what I wanted and I, I always just went my way. You don't need a plan B. Otherwise, why are you doing plan A if you already think about a plan B? Hi and welcome to The Access Show. It's the place where you can find life hacks on how to become the best version of yourself and achieve your goals. We show you how to walk the talk from successful people. And today we're joined by June here. Thanks so much for joining us. Hello. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, that's a pleasure. Uh, you want to give us a quick overview of what you do? Sure, yeah. Um, so I'm an actor from Switzerland. I live in London. And well, yeah, at the moment I'm in Switzerland, but I live in London. And I'm going to the Identity School of Acting and yes so that's about me yeah, right, yeah. at the moment and obviously i work in the industry with with uh, uh you know different stuff if if, if i if i can yeah and, um yeah did you always wanted to be an actor was that like a long life dream or oh yeah 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 my mom said you could see it like with four already when i didn't even even know <laughs> didn't even know <laughs> But yeah, I, I suppose I came, the moment when I said, mom, I want to be an actor was when I was about maybe seven or eight. So about that. Wow. Yeah, that is young. I remember for me, myself, I, I, I think I told my mom as well at like six. But yeah. how much of that do you think is, uh, is, is destiny, you know, finding your passion and how much of it is your own creation? How much is my own passion and how much of it is my own creation, you ask? Yeah. Um, could you say this question again? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how much, you know, like sometimes it feels like you, you just stumble on something, on a passion, by like yeah. pure luck or destiny, if you want to call it that. And how much uh, do you think was it destiny and how much of it was just luck um coming to this passion of acting i always say um i've i've, I've been born with acting it, it's it's a part it's it's me mm. or you know uh so i i didn't choose acting acting chose me mm. or not just acting just just being an artist you know um it's not just that i i, I like to act i i also dance and and all, all this stuff you know it's just being an artist and, and giving something from you um yeah from you you know you can share something you uh, it's like this is me and and this is what i can give to the world you know so um it doesn't really have to do, uh, it, it just has to do with, yeah, with, with, I'd say, yeah, destiny, as, as you would call it, you know. And your, your vision of acting, uh, when you first started, did you think, like, is it, is it better than what you expected? Or is it exactly as you expected it to be? Oh, it's never as you expect it to be, <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, I mean... You know, I, I went, I went, I, I was in school and, and I was like in the, in the secondary school, I was like, when we had to look for jobs, um, no one knew what they wanted. I was the only one saying, yeah, I want to be an actor. <laughs> and the teachers were like, yeah, I know that you want to be an actor, but don't you want to maybe just look for something else? I'm like, I'm like no. <laughs> yeah. no, not really. And, um, so. I always knew what I wanted and I, I always just went my way, you know, so, um, but for example, going to London, this wasn't planned for a long time. I just went there for, for like three months to learn English. And then I was like, well, you know, I'll, I'll just have a look out for drama schools and all this stuff and how I like it. And then I was, I fell in love with it. And I was like, okay, I'll do that. Mm. I, I could have gone to Germany as well, you know, Mm. Um, so, yeah, it's just, it's n not the way I was seeing it. I just, I just go, I know what I want and I see where I, where I will be. Mm -hmm. mm. But there are a lot of stones in the way, so, yeah. you know, especially when you 
live this kind of life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I understand. That's amazing. Just going towards your goal, you know, persevering. And uh, how important do you think it is to never let go of your goal? Do you think you need a plan B or is it just plan A? Oh, no, you don't need a plan B. Plan B will come if, if, if you, if, if it's destined to have, if you're destined to have a plan B, plan B will come. Plan B is, is no important. There's only plan A. Mm. Uh, otherwise, why are you doing plan A if you already think about a plan B, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And how do you plan your goals? Do you have a, maybe something in mind, like an ultimate goal? Or do you just see what happens uh, during the day and you just grab opportunities? How does it work with you? That's the thing, you know. Um, I think it has changed. It has changed when I when I've grown older. Like when I was young, I was like, uh, I want to have this and this and this and this and this. And it's still it's still the same. But as I realize, you know, all I want is to just. I have something to give, mm. and I know it's a lot, you know and and when i do that this makes this is what fulfills me as well you know and and just being on stage or in front of a camera and just you know working with people that that have the same passion and that have the same drive as you and and um this is just the most wonderful thing you can get you know and sure there are, are things I, I see myself and I definitely see myself in, in Hollywood uh, acting, you know, I, I know that for a fact, but um, you know, I also have to, to, you have, to, I think sometimes these big dreams are really important, but they also can get in your way mm -hmm. because you want it so much. And I, 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 I am this kind of person, you know, once there was a girl once taught me when I was, I had this moment where I was really blocked and he was like, you want something so much, you just stand yourself in the way. And I'm like, holy crap. Yeah, that's so true. You know, because you want it so much and you're like, <laughs> and then you realize like, what am I doing? I, I actually, what, what do you want? I, I just, I just want to act. I just want yeah. to be. <laughs> Yeah, I think it needs a certain patience just to, mm -hmm. you know, to want it, but not to need it. And mm -hmm. uh, do you do anything like on a daily basis to keep yourself, you know, concentrated in check and calm? Sure. Yeah. 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 Every day. Every day. Um, dancing. Yeah. It's really important. It's not about skill. It, mm -hmm. Well, it is later on, you know, but um, I think what a lot of artists miss is and you can see that everywhere even like sports tennis and all this stuff it's not about how well you can speak shakespeare um how 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 good how you can cry how you can do this it's about yourself acting is life mm -hmm. your body it's about your insides and and you have to open this up you have to to do our body is so much more than we actually know about you know mm -hmm. our spine is combined to actually feel everything behind us and we just lost it you know because we don't need it anymore yeah. and and this is what what i why go into more like kind of life and exploring the inside and mm -hmm. then the skills you can put on that you know mm -hmm. And how do you how do you manage this kind of stuff? Like you talked about dancing, and I think it's important in in every skill that you that you practice. You know, there is this uh, vul, uh, you know, you, you want to be vulnerable and you want to you know keep learning, but staying in your comfort zone. And how do you balance that? Maybe with acting, you know, how do you keep on getting educated and learning more, but you know, not taking too much risk? Are you all for the risk, or are you more you know in in, in your secure place? How does it work? That was a loaded question. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it, it's, it's about breaking 
through and yeah about taking risks as long as you as long as you know where you go yeah. well no but as long as you you know if you just if you sometimes um from the way i i have and that's good to have my that i'm, I'm lucky to have good parents you know sometimes i'm like i'm doing this and I, i'm stubborn you know i'm going to do this i'm going to la now i've got invited into a, a workshop with a really good guy and he wants me there and he makes me famous and my parents are like what are you doing <laughs> you know and and so um this is this is my ego coming up then you know but uh, i've gone past this luckily um and um so this is just stupid this this won't work <laughs> But you know, um, I think yeah, it needs it needs a balance. It's it's really important to to get the balance, and I do a lot of um, dancing and just being in the present moment. You know, it's uh, something mm -hmm. going from there. It's a process. You know, it's a process. It sounds like you're very organized to be able to you know dance, act, do all this in a day. Do you plan it out, or how do you how do you schedule your days? Yeah, this is where it, sometimes uh, I I kind of get oh um what's the word I yes there there are moments where I just sit down to my mom and I'm like start crying I'm like mom I don't know there's so much I don't know what what I should do and yeah. do first um but I I, I think you know once I just I know what I want. I write it down, and you know I make a list of okay. These things are the things for me the most important things I want to do uh, every day, mm -hmm. and maybe there are some plus things I do at some points, you know, and then I just start doing those, and then automatically, once I have this kind of rolling, things fall away, and then I, I do it, and then like one week later I realize oh. There was this other thing I, I I had in the list as well, but it kind of just didn't feel important anymore. It fell away. Mm -hmm. And and in the end, from 10, I, I might have it like three things or five things I do in a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So kind of just planning it and then just doing it and see what works and what doesn't work. And then it works out automatically. Yeah. That's just time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plan. And you know, nowadays I think with the free time that we have, the time that you can spend on Instagram, for example, it's easy to kind of trade the effectiveness for busyness. But do you even schedule your uh, your free time? You know, so you don't waste it too much, or how does that work for you? Um. No, I'm 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 still quite flexible especially at the moment because I actually really, I don't have school, so now I'm more flexible. Uh, here, you know, I, I, I'm i still like, I say like, I don't like working in the evening. So in the evening, I, I just say, okay, it's done. And all my friends are free in the evening. So I, I kind of don't have to, to really organize it. I just write and say, um, you know, want to meet up and if they can that's great and if they can't okay another day you know um yes so and uh, uh your, your vision of success that you had about you know being an actor and all that uh did it change at some point or you know did you maybe hit a big milestone in your career and be like okay uh i'm gonna go into a different path or you know i have this different vision of what i could be as an actor did you have this moment uh, yeah, I, ha I always have these moments of searching. I even had a moment where I was like, uh, oh, I like singing. <laughs> I want to be a singer now. <laughs> I can't really sing, though. I I'm okay, <laughs> you know, but with practice, maybe. Um, but it's I'm, I'm still i'm still you know i still have this no i always wanted to to be an actor and and um there was no really a moment where i really was like okay no and where the vision changed 
it might have just become softer in a way, you know, just like um, not holding on to something mm. um, and trying to just work in a, in a, in a, a process way instead of working for the result, you know, mm. I try, I try to, you know, I try to, but it's hard <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. And if that was your question, if I asked yeah. you a question, right. So, so basically the, the projects you work on, um, they just like fit in your path as being an actor. And do you, what's, how do you view them? Is it just, you know, a stepping stone to get to better roles or is it just work and opportunities? I mean, it, every role uh, has, has something you can, you can learn, you know, and, and, It's it's an opportunity to 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 grow, mm -hmm. I'd say. So it's the, I, I see it as opportunity definitely. Um, I mean, if you if you just if you would do it if you would do it in, in in and think like oh maybe this will give me the big break. Well, you sure you have these thoughts, but if you would just stay for that, um, I think it wouldn't really it wouldn't you know that wouldn't really makes sense because yeah, yeah. it's a role it's the same as if you would have a feature a big feature film from a big you know director um it's still a role it's still a human being you have to embody so it's exactly the same you do it's, yeah. it's just for less money and for for a smaller company or even you know students mm -hmm. but it's still the same so And speaking of the process, you know, getting into a character embodying a human being, um, yeah. how do you do that yourself? Do you use a special technique or? Um, I mean, I always have, uh, it's, it's the kind of same thing with, with having a lot of, of uh, in my, in my, you know, I, I, I've had, um, some other teachers and I have learned and I've, they gave me so so much and then um sometimes I use this and then I get something new and I use this and I combine it or maybe I chuck something away or maybe I take something out which I've learned when I was like 16 and I was like oh this is actually good I take this uh but I'm still I think I'm because you know I'm still young I'm still trying to 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 find my my way to work it best but what i do at the moment is um a lot of you know going in behind really going to the the the, the, the what's there so you you have this script and you really go what's there first um some would call it the facts but and that but more than you know and you really start to to ask these questions and 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 then once you have that you you go and and explore it you you dance with it you have this story and and you go into the story and you just just go through from from let's say he's a 17 year old the, the guy i would embody is a 17 year old guy so i go from from baby to 17 year, 17 years old and i i act it through uh, mm -hmm. the emotions what has he gone through how what was it in this moment what happened how did he feel with his mom and all these things and so it's about this you know and and then really ask yourself how would he eat this how would he eat this meal how would he drink how would he so all these tiny little things so really getting into it um, yeah. yeah yeah i love that idea you know just getting into the skin of a character but you know as actors we have all these magnificent teachers that came before us, you know, Meisner, uh, Strasberg, all this. Mm. How important do you think it is to make your own or to find your own kind of rhythm to get into a character versus using these uh, systems that work already? Thank you that you came up with these systems. Um, <laughs> now it's starting. <laughs> um, my teacher I work with at the moment she said something really nice I I agree to really and she said my son Stanislavski and all, all these geniuses 
Mm. They they great, but they that you know that so 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 if you would ask Stanislavski about his techniques now, he would probably say like, well, this is this is this you can still use, but he would be so much further because these people were moving every day. They were trying to get things and then they've realized, oh, this actually doesn't work. So I do this and they've involved every single day. And so now, and now we're still doing something um, which they probably wouldn't even agree that it works anymore, you know? And, but she said, it's, it's good to have it. Those are the skills, you know, you, you have it in your, in your bag and you can, you can draw from it whenever you need it, you know, mm-hmm. and it's a good thing you need. It's something definitely important, but uh, it's not something that you should uh, just put your life into it and think mm-hmm. it will make you amazing, great actors, actor, you know. Um, but yes, this is why mm-hmm. I would say. <laughs> something really important yeah. and you talked about uh, teachers earlier uh, do you have maybe a mentor or and uh, do you think it's important to have someone to guide you uh, in a career oh yeah nah, most most important thing I'd say you know I'm, I'm in a school now but um, having someone that guides you that gets to know you he knows or she knows your 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 weaknesses and your strengths and and she you know and, and this people can can actually go into that and 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 guide you through it you know um and you know yeah it's so important to have them as well with with decisions you know they in the industry I could ask my parents. Uh, I, I'd say, luckily, they 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 would they good they would be good mentors. They are kind of my mentors as well, you know. But not everyone has that. So having a mentor, you know, if if you get a role from some big casting, you know, feature film, then and you like, oh, fire, you know, I'm on fire. I've got this. Well, well, maybe you should, you know, calm down. Are you sure you want, you know, it's it's someone that that can give you that, and as well, just um, just knows where you your the mm-hmm. demon you know, goes into in you, you know. So it's important, yes. Yeah, I think it's super important, and maybe have someone to, to balance your like too much sides, you know, like if you get too excited and maybe like calms you down or if you're like too calm down, maybe it gets you excited or <laughs> this kind of stuff. And uh, is there maybe a, a main advice that a mentor gave you that stick with you? Like maybe the, the best advice you ever received? The best advice of, of her is that she doesn't have to give an advice. It is, when you're with her, it's this beautiful moment when you just, you walk down the park and you talk about tennis and then you see a leaf coming down and then, oh, a leaf. And then you talk about the leaf and it's just, it's a flow. There's no holding on to anything. There's no um, judgment, no, no anything. It's just a flow mm-hmm. and it's just life, you know. And, and in everything she says, there is a meaning. She can talk about her whole life story. And you're like, well, why did you tell me that? <laughs> but in, there was a meaning behind it. Mm-hmm. Um, so everything she says has a meaning and and as well she she she's you know she sees more but she doesn't have to say so she doesn't have to talk about it <laughs> but she notices it um and as well um you know you, you have this teachers that that um that don't well, they, they might say, you know, they, yeah, that was really good. That was good. Um, but maybe, 
do this or whatever or, the, or you, you kind of like you don't she gives you this platform of feeling uh comfortable even if you fuck it up she's just like you know uh she's like what was that that was crap <laughs> you know and she kind of has this way of of getting into into you and, and f- making you feel comfortable and yeah so yeah yeah i think it's super important to have someone to to guide you and not maybe not just throw all the answers but put little clues in there and you have to find the way on your own and uh it's just it helps you along the way yeah i think it's yeah. Super important yeah and uh, okay so uh you if you want it's promo time for you so tell us what we should check out about you uh social media uh plays movies all that um well i'm in in uh uh i've got my first feature film role uh it's not out yet there's no trailer yet either mm-hmm. so um but you can you can have a look it's it's called time rewind by lincoln fenner and um yeah and then you, you just just go and have a look on my on my social media instagram it's yondeen acting my life mm-hmm. and um what else yeah you know um uh, you'll see me you'll see me one day uh i'm still i'm still moving up but uh yeah yeah anything else there's things coming up but no it's still further away oh yeah and and um i'm i'm in a it's a that's that's an interesting thing i'm in a one main man play wow. oh. uh, i've never done that before with a friend of mine and um it's called about the goth it will be out on youtube um i think it's the 27th of march or something for like 24 hours you can watch it uh yes awesome. uh, so those are the things so if you follow me on instagram you're on yeah. acting my life you will see everything i will do <laughs> things on it and then you won't miss it all right that was a great interview with you um what are your key takeaways man well i i think that it's just about kind of finding yourself you know finding what you're passionate about what you want to do going at it not having a plan b that's kind of a common theme these days actually mm-hmm. in the interviews that we're doing yeah it's about not having a plan b and taking that leap of faith and i found that he was so passionate and artistic that it made me think it made me think maybe it's more about the art that you're putting out there than the than you know the the fruits of uh, your labor that you're actually collecting it's it's more about you know what you can how you can inspire people what you can give them and give back to the world as an art form um for acting at least so that for me was a really it was a new door that he opened for uh, for me to have a new perspective on acting mm. what about you Matthew I think yeah his take on uh, not having a plan b uh mm. was really interesting and i like the fact that we we had so many different answers from different people so far you know on setting goals and and plan b's and all that and i think There is no one size fits all and you know uh, you have to find out what works and what doesn't for yourself and uh he talked also about you know uh not getting in your own way uh, to get to your ultimate goal mm. and it's super important too you know maybe if you put like too much pressure on yourself or uh you 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 might just block yourself to to get to where you want to be mm. and i think yeah it's important to you know maybe get perspective if you if you feel you're like you're stuck try try something different you know yeah. and if uh, if just having one ultimate goal doesn't work break it down if it works for you or just have one big target and not care about how it's going to happen mm-hmm. just yeah try different stuff i think it's the main point that i'm trying to get across and uh try try to see what works for you mm-hmm. and then you can you know uh update your own software and get to a better version of yourself well thanks so much for watching the access show Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ooh, that was nice. You think they're going to do it? Yeah. Yeah, I think they're going to do it. <laughs>